Hey guys, this is Pierre from KM Spider Accessories, and uh, welcome to the Spider Shop. I haven't done a vlog in a little while, so I thought I, you know, catch you up on on what's happening today. Uh, what's today's date, Lydia? The eighth, the ninth. Uh, February eighth. February eighth. It is Friday morning. And uh, I've already been on the road, I've been back, I went to my local BRP dealer, I got some goodies that came in for the Canon Riker. So uh, yeah, we make accessories, we'll be making some for the Canon Riker, but I also like to buy goodies. I'm, you know, a, a spider, a Riker enthusiast, so I like to get some stuff, and they do have a lot of good stuff. So I went out shopping, I ordered these last week, so I got four boxes right here. We'll be doing some unpackaging, I also have some stuff in this bag here but that's still a surprise uh on sunday i'll actually i have a meeting about two hours away from my house and uh i'm going to be working on that project and i'll be able to share a little bit more i'll be getting some video don't know if i'll be able to receive that video straight away but it will be part of a montage of uh, some editing that i'll do to show you some of our new products coming so really excited about that uh yeah i'm going to show you outside very unusual weather here in uh, Montreal, well, the suburbs of Montreal, we're in La Valtrie, Quebec. And uh, as you can see, I can go outside with my hoodie. It's uh, in degrees. Let's check how cold or warm it is. It is actually about five degrees. So it is way above uh, freezing. And it's like a snow rink. We had some rain that came in overnight. So we woke up to this. I'll try not to uh, have a fail in land on my backside but as you can see my feet here yeah it's like an ice rink right now uh, so if we don't have to go out today we'll just stay inside and work and I'll definitely uh, do some unpackaging with those accessories so uh, as you can see I got a full house right now so we got the RT here if I put this this way we got the Can-Am Riker behind us and after that we've got Lydia's beautiful beautiful f3 spider and yeah it's a little chaotic because you know i don't have that much room we got about 700 square feet here uh, about uh close to a thousand on the other side but i can't use that that's more for the store and the administration that's lydia's department this is my department so i'm i am working with uh, limited space so what i'll do is i'll take out the spiders even though it's you know raining we'll bring out the spiders i'll make myself some room i like to be able to walk up and down and not step on anything and uh yeah we'll open up those boxes i feel like i'm gonna start a cooking show <laughs> uh, oh it makes me spot when i'm dead center in the middle of the camera like this it feels a little unnatural usually i'm going around i got the camera i'm moving around here i'm just standing here so that's why i'm smiling all right so we got four boxes what do we have we have some splash guards so additional protection for the canon spider for that with, uh, that rain that comes off the ground now the fenders have already got a splash guard on them but we're going to bring another one that's going to go go below the a arms i do have a tank bag that's going to be here i saw this it looks really good i hope i'm not disappointed but it does look really good and functional uh because you do need a little bit of extra room on that riker you definitely need extra room we got a top case here this top case goes directly behind uh the rider uh, will it act a little bit as a backrest? We'll see that. And I know in my Rally Edition, I do have the bracket that comes standard to be able to do the installation. Otherwise, you need that extra bracket if you don't have it already. So we'll look at that. And last box here, A-arm protection. So those A-arms that go on the side, we're going to put a splash guard on the bottom. But to protect that A-arm, we're going to give it some protection as well. Starting off with the splash guard. So we have a left and a right. Uh, I'll see one of the first things I'll notice is that there seems to be a lot of engineering behind these. Um, I can tell there's a lot of angles, different, as you see, this way, that way, that way, that way. And uh, yeah, just 
If I imagine if we're talking about the left-hand side, this would go on the left-hand side that way. Uh, you can see this guard here. Uh, that's one of the things I was worried about because on the pictures I could see it was really low to the ground. I'm saying to myself, well, if you hit a speed bump, you go up a, you know, maybe a curve and you're going to hit it, what's going to happen? It's going to break, but it's actually, it's like a, it's a rubber. It's like a mud flap that you have on, you know, you can have a spider in the back or, you know, if you added something or on a car. Directly, so it's got a little gift to it. So I can imagine that you know, if you hit something that's hard, it's going to move out of the way at least somewhat. So that's uh, I like that. And like I said, it's got a lot of engineering, a lot of bends and curves to it. So uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, anxious to see how it's going to go on the road and if it really is going to stop all the the water from coming up because there's a lot of water that comes up. Let's open up the tank bag. It's actually a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. Um, then logically, how big could it really be? Uh, I can see the can M here, so that means that's probably facing me. So we got these that probably clip on each side. Uh, if I take these off, I see two little pieces of metal here. I can imagine this probably goes underneath your um, your gas cap, where you have the opening for the gas caps. That probably goes on each side. And I imagine inside, I probably got a couple of bolts. Let's open her up. Uh, inside, I got bolts in there. Yeah, right in here. So as you open that up, we got a couple of bolts in there, probably for the little clips that are there. Yeah, it's a good looking bag. Uh, you have an opening here. See my fingers, probably put a phone in there. Yeah, this will be decent. You know, at least you can put your sunglasses, sunscreen, you know, you fit a wallet, your phone, like I said. A couple of things. Yeah, probably be handy. We'll just see how, how uh, strong the magnet is and how it fits, you know, once we do the installation for this. These are the A-arm protectors. We have a couple of bolts. We have instructions. Uh, my first thought, very, very light. As I maneuver and I spin around, I, I see all the different angles that you have in it. You got an angle here, you got another one here. It's on an angle like this as well. Same thing here, even the little brackets here in the back. You can see that they've been bent to a certain angle. Doesn't seem like much, but sometimes it's five, six, five, seven degrees, and it's got a, a lot of holes. So a lot of work that went into this for a little plate. So, uh, and it's not painted, it's not powder coated. So that tells me it's probably meant to take a lot of hits. Uh, so it's probably going to be uh, very useful. Uh, and like I said, there's a lot of work that went into this. So I'm very curious to see how it's actually going to end up on the bike and how good it looks. Last but not least, this is the top case. First impression, it's a good looking product. It's very nice made. You can tell there's a lot of uh, design to it to be able to fit perfectly on that top bracket. So, you know, that, that costs a lot of money to do. Get everything custom fit like that with the brackets that are there, clip on and off. Um, let's open her up, see what's inside. All right, so we got like a, a bag that's around it. These don't come off, so I guess this is probably to be able to seal everything in. Make sure you have no water, make it waterproof probably. So, yeah. What can we fit in there? Not a full size helmet. Maybe one of those half helmets probably fit in there. But if you fit that in, you got borderline room for your lunch. Uh, what exactly am I going to be using it for? I'm not sure. I know I needed more space on the Riker, more storage. So we'll work it. Uh, I mean, probably my lunch in there, maybe a spare shirt, maybe a pair of shoes, but definitely not a big jacket. I won't fit in there. So um, yeah, that's going to be taken into consideration for now. We don't have anywhere to put a full size jacket or, you know, one of those warm BRP or whatever jacket that you might carry. If you want to switch, I don't think there's enough room in this to be able to put it. So we'll work on other storage solution, but there's definitely enough place and enough space in here to put my lunch. That was just a quick overview of the accessories that I bought for my Can-Am Riker. We'll be making install videos for each of those items and we'll be able to show them to you directly on the bike so you get a better look at 
you know, if you need it or if you don't. So once again, thanks guys for watching this short uh, vlog that turned into a long vlog. Uh, if you followed me all the way to the end, thank you very much. And guys, check us out on canamspideraccessories.com. We will be putting up a Riker section as our accessories come in. We've got them all, you know, like in play. They started, we're testing, we're doing, we've got prototypes. So in the following weeks, we'll got, we've got accessories that will be coming online. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.